Um, hello, everyone. Uh, thank you for joining us today again. Our sequence of webinars here at fxstreet.com. Um, thank you for attending and thank you to fxstreet.com to giving me the opportunity to speak. Uh, for those who are here today, uh, my name is Telmo Pinto. I'm the founder and director of market operations at Equation Trading Group. For those who aren't familiar uh, with nutrition trading, we are a team of professional traders dedicated to provide simple, real-time, unified trading solutions for investors. Okay, You can see more info at fxtreet.com services page or at our web page, intuitiontrading.com. So today we are going to... Uh, sorry. It's important to see the disclaimer, okay? Um, any presentation here is not a solicitation to invest and should be considered your financial situation suitable to your prior make any investment, okay? Or entry in any transaction, okay? Uh, you should make yourself aware of all risks associated with Forex, foreign exchange trading and seek advice from an independent financial advisor if you have any questions or concerns. So resuming our last webinars, we, we were talking about uh, Renko bars, okay? It's our mainly short uh, trading system. Uh, for those who do not assist prior uh, webinars, they are recorded and you can see them at fxtreet.com. So today, we are going to talk about the market sentiment, okay? This is not well known by the by the traders, but in my opinion, is a very important tool and and for me uh, is my primer tool uh, to define levels of entry and exit the market, okay? Or confirmation uh, the entries and exits the market, okay? So, what is market sentiment? Market sentiment, well, each and every trader will have their own personal explanation as to why the market is moving a certain way, okay? It's going down, it's going up, okay? When trading, traders express this view in whatever trade he takes, okay? But sometimes, uh, no matter how convinced the trader is that the market will move in a particular, in a particular direction, and no matter how pretty all the trend lines line up or line down, the trend, the trader may still end up losing, okay? This is the reality of trading. Um, a trader must realize that the overall market is a combination of all views, ideas, and opinions of all the participants in the market. So everyone uh, is included in this, in this big whole market situation, okay? This combined feeling that market participants have is what we call, or what we can call, the market sentiment, okay? It is dominating by emotions or ideas that the majority of the market feels best explain the current, the current direction of the market. Um, this, is, this is the best definition, okay, of market sentiment, okay? If most traders... Uh, are willing to pay a certain price for the for the um, for the pair in this case the forex market the price tends to go up okay because there is more buyers or if there is more sellers the the pressure uh will make the pair go up or go down okay so how we develop a sentiment based approach okay as a trader it's our job to go to what the market is feeling, okay? Are the indicators uh, pointing towards bullish conditions? Are the indicators pointing bearish conditions, okay? Are bearish to the economy? Are traders bullish to the economy? We can tell the market what we think it should do, okay? But we can do is react in response to what is happening in the market. Okay, I used to say that we don't need to know what market is going to to do tomorrow so we can profit for markets. Okay, 
That is not important. What important is what is market is doing now and how we how we can react to the current market situation. Okay. Um, the market sentiment, we you know, market is defined by volume. Okay, but as we all know, unfortunately, uh, the forex exchange market is traded over the counter. Okay, it doesn't have a, a centralized market. So this means that the volume of each currency traded cannot be easily measured, okay? We cannot easily manage, measure uh, like on stocks, okay, or like on futures, okay? But we have other tools that can help us in order we can reach this, this, this market sentiment, okay? One of them is the COTS or Commitments of Traders Report, okay? This tool is a good tool. Uh, but the problem is that a bit lag because we only have the cut with a with a past week okay uh, volume. But later I will show you other market sentiments that we can see. It can provide like 15 minutes or hourly this volume on on uh, on the volume uh, on the um, on the forex pairs okay. So the commitment of traders, as you can see here on the slide, we can see them. Uh, we can open the, the address, okay? This address, cftc.gov, market report, dash commitments, soft traders, barra, index, dot, htm. Okay? I have here, I will show you how we can see this, and I'm going to explain the cut a bit more, okay? So there it goes to this page, okay. If we scroll down, we have here currency legacy reports, okay. We can go here to Chicago Mercantile Exchange. That was the futures of forex pairs are traded. We click on short format, and we have this this huge, okay, this huge report. But no problem because we can scroll down or scroll up. And let's see here the Euro future so I can explain you how to identify or how to determine the cut. Okay. So everybody seeing here the, the, the slide is this area. Okay. Okay, great. Okay. So like I told you, uh, one of the major problems with the Forex market is the lack of the volume indicator. We don't have that volume indicator. So uh, since there is no Forex exchange, just as the Nikkei or the New York Stock Exchange, like I, like I told, okay, volume statistics on the entire market are not available. So the cut report tracking the currency and commodity futures allocation of the major speculators and commercial edgers, okay, like I'm going to explain is an excellent substitute for the volume indicator, and it should therefore be an inseparable item of any technical trading scheme, in my opinion. Okay, so let's examine examine the the, um, the cut report. Okay, this is a common cut report. In here, you have the open interest. Okay, the open interest describes the amount of open futures contracts that are being held. In other words, uh, in other words, is the total volume of open contracts in the market, but not the transactions. Okay, is only the total contracts. Okay. Uh, here, the reportable positions. Okay, I this area. The reportable positions are the positions held by institutions that meet the reporting requirement for the CFTC. Okay. These are the major players in the CBOT, and their choices are usually backed by hordes of analysts and their studies, okay? These non-reportable positions, okay, cover everyone who do not suit the above criteria, okay? So why I told earlier, okay? Um, and they are also termed like small speculators, okay? Of reportable positions, Non-commercial non -commercial includes all actors who do not possess any interest 
in making use of the underlying currency or commodity, such as hedge funds, brokerage firms, investment banks, and other related firms. Commercial open interest is created by firms that have the desire to receive or deliver the underlying. This is desire to deliver the currency they are buying or selling, okay? Thus, the rules placed by the two cats of, of traders is quite different, okay? This is the wrong report, but mostly the speculators and in this area you can think, okay, they want to deliver the currency they bought or sell, okay? So, let's move on here, okay. Okay, so there are many uh, ways to interpret the, the the cut report, or there are many trading systems that we can apply. Okay, the one I use personal is to creating a currency portfolio. Okay, based on this. Okay, I trade the currency portfolio and I make my decisions of the creation of this portfolio using the cut. And I'm going to explain how I use this to create this portfolio. Okay. Uh, we can use the cut report to create a diverse uh, portfolio like I'm told. By examining the cut report, we can have a good idea of the attitude of major traders towards the USD pair, okay? But to make real use of the data, we must create a portfolio of currency pairs, okay? Such as uh, Australian dollar, okay? The euro, the Japanese yen, okay? Based on that. Since the market can be overall long the USD, but can be short the USD against one or more currencies, we do not want to be caught holding a pair in which the USD will lose value while the cut is still long, okay? If, for instance, we have the change of open interest, okay, change from, from long to short, okay, from one week to another, we don't want to be caught on this, okay, because we know that most players on the market are ex expecting a drop of the pair, okay? In this case, on the euro, are expecting a drop of the pair or a long on the USD pairs, okay? Long on the USD and short on the other crosses, okay? For instance, we will short Australian dollar and euro SD. The carry trade is negative and we are long on USD and Japanese yen. So, we have to manage the currency pair ratios in such a way that the total interest received will not exceed the Fed rate. So, the Fed rate. And uh, why we do want this? Because all we want to do is to gain from the appreciation on the USD pairs while limiting the volatility caused by the carry trade, okay? By making our position interest neutral, okay, we will and we expect be able to ride through such disruptions, okay? We are edging our portfolio in a way that if a pair or a couple of pairs turn around, okay, from the from the open interest, we can protect somehow the total portfolio in order we didn't get caught by a, a fast move and all the portfolio lose a lot of uh, of uh, of money. Okay, so this is our way to use the cut report. There are many other ways, okay? There are traders that exploit reversals in positions of create a portfolio, okay? Um, and that way is why, is why I told earlier, uh, seek on the, on, the, um, on the open interest, okay? And the change from the long from the short, okay? Or here the non-commercial, the long from the short, and have a big change from one week to another, and we can interpret that as a reversal in the market, okay? But the main problem of the cut is really the delay, okay? The delay of the, of the report because we only have this report once a week.
Okay. So based on the cut, is this is this a way I use to create the portfolio? Okay. Although we have other tools that can help us see in a better way the market, okay, the current market situation, okay, and those are provided, uh, for instance, uh, by Oanda, okay, Oanda is a brokerage, um, I will not make any publicity here, I don't have any accounts with them, but I use the tools they provide to us, and those tools are the open position ratios, okay, open order the positions, historical order book, and historical position races, okay, there are other uh, brokers that are showing this to 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 those to his clients, but the one that provides a very nice tool, and we can think that um, we can think that this is a very good tool and shows the whole market situation. Okay. Sorry, Buki, Buki, those four links not work. Okay. No, they are here. You can show them here. Okay. Here are the the the, the links. They are correct. Sorry. Okay. So in this first report is the forex open position races. Okay. This is a tool where you can see all the pairs are trading okay. The open positions mainly are the EUSD as the, as the, as the major pair okay. Then is the Australian dollar, etc. Okay, I don't use this because I mainly trade the USD pairs okay. So what I've discovered in these in the, in the trading years is that Euro is always below the middle of the table, okay? Let's give an example today by the Euro SD, okay? And no matter what, if Euro is going up, up, up from this table, we can interpret as the Euro is getting to a top, okay? If, for instance, the Euro is not here, okay, and for instance, it's here around the Euro, where is the position of the, of the Swiss franc, we can interpret as the Euro has too many buyers on the market and market tend to go down. The same the same apply to the other pairs, okay? The contrary pairs like USD Japanese Yen will be on the top, okay? USD CAD will be on the top and if goes to the middle of the of the, of this uh, table, you can interpret as the market is about to reverse, okay? Beside that, we have the most important tool I use is the Forex Order Book, okay? This tool is really important for me and we can take many, many, many um, good ideas of the current market uh, with this tool, okay? We have on the left side the open orders, okay? The orders that are in the market. Like I told you, this is from Oanda, okay? This is not, um, this is not, um, from all market because as I told earlier, market is not, Forex market is not a centralized one, okay? But Oanda reflects very good the old market sentiment, okay? Um, so, on the left side, we have the open orders, okay, that are in the market. You can see that the most orders that are on the market are expecting to buy at a lower level, okay? As you can see, the sell orders are not significant at, at above 126, they are not significant, okay? On the left, on the right side, sorry, we have the open positions, okay? And in the open positions, what we see, we see that major, major investors are short on the market. Okay. And what we can depreciate this or, or, or what we can think with this. Okay. Most people are short in the market. 
uh, I think in a contrary way, okay? If I see too many shorts in the market, I think market will pull up. If I see too many buyers on the market or on the long side, I, I think market will go down. Because uh, you know that institutions, banks, brokers, uh, always seek to profit from the retail client losses, okay? Um, and this is a very good indication or contrary indicator like i used to like i used to say is a contrary indicator okay so important level here are important level sorry are this okay this is now this is the bar form uh this last hour okay so here what we have we have some buyers here above 125.50 area okay and we have here this orange is the, the 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 hoarders that are on market and are on profit okay these sellers here are currently on profit on this side we can see clear where are the stops okay of those entering orders okay we know that from these buyers 125.50 area those stops are around 125.20, 125.10 area, okay? This blue here are mainly the stops from these buyers, okay? So, imagine we are long at the market, uh, we can expect or we, we want to put our stop below this level. If we put this level, mostly the institutional, the brokers will go and catch these orders in order to stop okay in order to stop the 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 the, the current trades on the market mike uh, are open positions uh well these are the positions like i explained these are the positions from the wenda forex order book. this is from wenda okay and these are institutions our retail clients uh, all trades that are made on oenda are here in this in this in this order book, okay, no matter they are uh, investors, institutions, brokers, okay, all are here. So, and this and this is very good, like a, like I told earlier too, I want to enforce that this is very good tool in order we can see the whole perspective of the market, okay. So, we have here this, so this order, these long orders, most stops are here so if we if we are long okay we want to put our stops below this level because most of the times this level are going to be hit by the market okay these stops are going to be filled okay okay so in other hands we have these levels 125 20 10 area on the other side, we have here the stops, okay, this blue here are the, are, are, are the beginning of the stops from these short positions here, okay. We have short since, okay, this show 122.50, okay. These are the stops, um, they are at 125.80 area more, more or less, okay. If price goes to 124.80, we can expect that these buyers will be clean okay they will close these positions and then we'll have what we'll have these tops putting more or less 125.50 area okay then we have this point of of stops and again more up okay but this is a way to interpret the market and this is very good tool okay we want to look at these levels, okay, the stop level, and we want to look at how many people are short or long in the market. If you see too many, we can go here to the to the cumulative, cumulative orders, okay? And if you can see, you can see here, yesterday, okay? Eight, this is 6, 6 p.m. GMT, okay? You, you can see there, there are no, more short to clean up the market okay so 
what market we'll need to do. We'll need to gain force, okay, and gaining force is go down, okay. The shorts, as you can see, as I'm passing the, the, the mouse for here, you will see that are gaining short, okay, here gaining short is a point where buyers and sellers agree to buy, okay, market entering somehow in congestion, okay, then go up again to clean, and here clean all the short sides, okay, and if you can go there, we can see clear that market went down, okay, we have here, and what we can see here, these blue, and the left side on the open orders are the stops from these sellers, okay? And what market will do? Market will feed up, okay, from these sellers, okay? And what market do? Go up and clean all the stops that were there, okay? This happens 90% uh, of the time, okay, or 95% no, of the time. Market will move in these areas and is important if you are short, we want to put our stop away from these levels, okay? Or if you want to enter, we can define our target, okay? This is where they want to go, okay? So we want to put our target at those levels. One more important thing. This, when we see this orange, okay, this or at the open positions, about 90% 90, 90 of the time, the market will need to clean these orders, okay? When I say clean, is uh, close these orders, or by targets, or by by stops, but most likely are by stops, okay? And you can see this is market clean. Here was a change from sellers to buyers from this bottom at 125.50 area, okay? And then market went down again. So. What we can expect now from this interpretation of the market or here in the euro is that market can go up, okay, to 125.50 or market can go down and clean these stops, okay, from these buyers at 125.20, 20, 125.10, 10.20 area, okay. So for today, uh, I had more two other tools, but I prefer explain that with more slowly tomorrow. Uh, we will continue tomorrow with the market sentiment indicators and we'll we'll do a, a, a conjunction of these tools, these market sentiments, with the Renko bars that we told to in the last two webinars so we can define our entries based on these levels, okay? And our targets we can define based on these level okay so so again thank you very much for um, for your attention thank you very much for attending uh tomorrow we'll continue talking about market sentiment indicators we will finish this any questions you have you can contact us at intuitiontrading.com or at the email uh we can go to our uh, to fxstreet.com and see our our web page there. Um, so thank you very much for your attention um, and hope to see you all tomorrow. Thank you. Bye.